everyone myself dr m rashmi prasad working as an associate professor in the department of data science in institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad so in this video i'm going to discuss about what are the different levels of data that are available uh, in when it comes to principles of for data science so before going to see that what is the data so data is nothing but an observation or evidences about the social world and the data should be a plural of the datum and it should be either quantitative or qualitative in nature so the data is going to be produced not given so that is the researchers choose what to call the data so it is not just uh, there to be found here okay so the data is nothing but an observation or evidences about the social world and so the data is the plural of the datum and it should be of two types like uh, quantitative and then qualitative so nature of the data so the many of the research studies uh, in behavioral science are mainly concerned with the characteristics or traits and the tools are going to be administered uh, to quantify these characteristics but all traits or characteristics uh, cannot be quantified and the data can be classified into uh, two categories so very first thing should be data uh, where qualitative data and quantitative data so the qualitative data is also known as attributes whereas the quantitative data is also known as uh, uh, variables here okay so the data where we call it as qualitative data so that should be get from the attributes so whereas the data are considered as a qualitative that should be uh, for uh, variables here okay so there are many tools are available for uh, administer to quantify these characteristics and so many of the series studies also in behavioral science so that are mainly concerned with the concept characteristics or traits so the nature of data that is nothing but the qualitative or attributes that means that uh, the characteristics or traits uh, for which the numerical value cannot be assigned or called attributes so example gender motivation and similarly the quantitative or data or variables is nothing but the characteristics or traits uh, for which the numerical value can be assigned or called variables so that is nothing, uh, nothing but height and then uh, weight uh, so the qualitative data or attributes so nothing but the characteristics or traits for which the numerical value cannot be assigned or called attributes and example gender and motivation and the quantitative data or variables has nothing but for which the numerical values can be assigned or called variables example height and then weight here so qualitative data so qualitative data so is in such that so there should not be any kind of notion of magnitude of the signs of characteristics so for the qualitative we should not maintain any kind of notion of magnitude of the uh, characteristics so they're just categorized and the data are going to be uh, classified by counting the individuals so having the same characteristics or attribute or not the measurement here so whatever the data is classified so that thing uh, should be have some same characteristics or the attribute not by the measurement here for example so gender if i'm going to take so it may be either male or it may be a female and disease if i take so it may be present or it may be absent here and smoke may be smoking or not smoking so th all these kinds of uh, examples will come under the qualitative data and the data can be measured in nominal and ordinal scales okay so the qualitative data so they are just to categorize and should, uh, there should not be any notion of magnitude and for example so gender like uh, gender it may be either male or it may be female or uh, disease like uh, present or absent smoke uh, smoking or not smoking so quantitative data so the quantitative data means where uh, that can be expressed as a number or a quantity or magnitude okay the previous thing should not have any kind of magnitude here 
but here it should be expressed as the number quantitative or magnitude and it should also describe the characteristics in terms of numerical value so which are expressed in the units of measurement so it also describes uh, the characteristics in the numerical way so which are going to be expressed in the units of measurement so example level of hemoglobin and number of glucoma points and intracellular pressure weight and the quantitative observation that just each individual is represented by a number and this data can be measured in intervals and ratios okay so wh where i'm going to say that see if i'm going to have some measurements then only it should be considered as quantitative data and uh, it should also describe the catalyst in terms of numerical value so example level of hemoglobin and number of glucoma points and intra uh, ocular pressure weight and this data can be measured in terms of interval and ratio scale. There are different levels of data like just now what I said is types of data like qualitative and then quantitative. So qualitative means uh, it should be of nominal one and qualitative means it should be of ordinal one. So nominal means gender so it may be women or men hair color blonde and brown authenticity hispanic and asian and ordinal so that means that it should be either a first second and third and letter grades like abc and economic status like low medium and for the discrete data so it should be number of students in a class number of workers in the company number of home runs in baseball game and for the continuous it should be height of the children and footage of uh, two bedroom house and speed of the course. So let's see one by one here. Yeah. So uh, nominal. So nominal means just know what I said it should be of qualitative. There should not be any kind of measurement. So gender. So that means it may be either woman or man. Hair color. So it may be black, brown, white, whatever it is. So there should not be also any kind of measurement. And authenticity, like whether he is maybe a uh, Hispanic or uh, Asian, like that. And ordinal means uh, it should be also any kind of measure. So, ordinal rank order, like first place, second place, third place, like this. And the letter grades, like A, B, and then C. And economic status, where it may be low, and then medium, and then high. And similarly, quantitative data if I take, so it should have some measurements here. So example, it again, again divided in two types, right? discrete and then continuous. Uh, discrete in the sense, so number of students in the class and the number of workers in the company and number of uh, home runs in baseball game. And similarly for the continuous, it should be height of the children, square footage of two bedroom house and speed of the course. Okay, so these are the uh, different levels of data what we call and let's see one by one. So measurement scale. So the choose of appropriate statistical technique uh, depending upon the uh, data in the question. So like qualitative data and then quantitative data. So the quantitative data, so normally we are going to have nominal scale and ordinal scale and then quantitative data it should be interval scale and ratio scale okay so the measurement scale will be of two types qualitative and quantitative so the qualitative in the sense nominal ordinal and quantitative means interval and ratio scale so qualitative in the sense where we're going to uh, don't have any kind of measurements and, but the quantitative data is having to have some measurements here. So nominal, so very first thing. So it should be at least precise of four, four basic scales of measurement. So it should also uh, classify the items into two or more categories. So without any extent or magnitude. So there is no particular order or assigned uh, uh, to them and the frequency or the numbers are going to be used 
to give a name to something that may be used for determining the person and more. So example, boys, girls, and pass and fail, uh, ruler and urban land. So the nominal should be very, very precise scale of all the measurements and all the time it is going to be classified an item into two or more categories without any kind of external magnitude and there should not be any particular order assigned to them and the frequency of the numbers are going to be used to give a name to something uh, that may be used for determining percent and more so example boys and girls class and care and the next one ordinal scale so ordinal is most precise scale than the nominal scale and the variables has been uh, categorized and leveled with meaningful natural order. So but there is no information about the interval. So example, uh, pain should be none or mild or moderate or severe. So like ordinal scales and like so just now what I said the first place second place and so there no, should not be have any kind of measurements here so it should be uh, most precise scale than the nominal scale so when compared to that and the variables has been categorized into different levels um, with a meaningful natural order but there is no information about the interval so the pain may be not mild moderate and severe interval scale so interval scale is most precise and refined scale than the nominal ordinal scales and this scale has all the characteristics and relationship of ordinal scales so besides uh, which distance between any two numbers on the scales are known and the size of interval between the two observations can be measured so the temperature of the body so interval scale uh, is the most precise and refined scale than nominal ordinal scales and the scale has characteristics and relationship of ordinals uh, between uh, distance between two numbers and the size of interval uh, between two observations can be measured example the temperature of the body so it may be uh, 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit and 36.8 degrees centigrade so it is going to have some measurements and next one is that ratio scale so it means so it has same properties as the interval scale but as well as uh, true and absolute zero values are going to be considered here okay so the properties of this one should be almost all same as interval but here we have to consider the true and then absolute zero value scale in the ratio scale numerals have the qualities of real numbers uh, that may be added subtracted multiplied and divided Example means historic VP is one of the example of this ratio scale. So let's see an examples of uh, this one levels of data. So generally what I said, so there should be a four levels of the data. So it means that the specific characteristic of a structured data can be broken down into one of the four levels of the data. So like nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio scale. So the data will be of two types just now what I said so qualitative and quantitative and qualitative so again this data is going further into sub levels of so nominal ordinal interval and ratio scale so normally this one is going to represent the characteristic of the uh, structured data which can be broken down so either one of the uh, which is going to be reflect any of these levels of the data. So take the nominal one. So it should be the first level of the data and it should also consist of the data that is described uh, purely by name or category here. Right. So the nominal one is the thing which consists and it's going to be described purely based on the name and category. So examples, uh, gender, nationality, uh, species or a string in the BL and they are not described by numbers and therefore the qualitative and mathematical operations are allowed here. 
So the nominal one uh, is the thing uh, which should be defined either by gender, nationality, species, and it should also be described by number. Therefore, some of the mathematical operations is going to be allowed. So here uh, we cannot perform the mathematics here, and the nominal of the data except this basic equality and some set number functions are shown as through one of the two examples. So being a tech entrepreneur, so is the same as being in the tech industry, but not vice versa. So the figure also going to be described as square falls under the description of being the rectangle, but not vice versa. So the figure, what is that, right? And this is a rectangle, I can able to obtain the square here. But reverse that. So within this square, I didn't get make it as a rectangle. Okay, like this also I can able to do. So what kind of measures we are going to be considered for this? So the measures of center should be the number uh, that describes what the data tends to, and we should also refer as black uh, balance point of the data. And some of the common examples of measuring this uh, is that mean, median, and mode. So these are three kinds of measures of center that is going to be considered here for the nominal data. So in order to find this nominal one, so we turn the mode of the data set. Okay, so mm -hmm. for the nominals, you can able to make use of mean, median, and then mode. And what data is like at the nominal level? So the data at the nominal level should be categorical in nature because uh, we can generally uh, use words to describe the data, but it can be lost in translation among the uh, countries or even maybe misspelled. So all the time the data nominal one should be in the form of categorical in nature. Ordinal level. So, ordinal level did not provide us with much flexibility in terms of mathematical operations and the data in the ordinal level provides with a rank order or means to place one observation before the other. However, it does not provide uh, with relative differences between the observations and meaning that while we may order the observation from first to last, and we cannot add or subtract them to get any uh, real meaning. So the data in the nominal level also provides the rank order. Uh, we should also place one observation before the other. And we can also provide the relative differences between the observation while may order the observation from last to last, first to last, in order to be able to get any real meaning. So example, so Likert is the, um, one of the common ordinal scale. So whenever we are going to give a survey asking you to rate your satisfaction on the scale, uh, like uh, 1 to 10, so we are going to provide the data at the ordinal level. So normally, so we must fall between 1 to 10, so that can be ordered. Eight. So 8 is the better than the 7, while 3 is worse than the 9. So the differences between the number does not make a sense here. So, but the difference between the seven and eight might be different between the two and one. Okay. So, ordinal scale should be looks like this. Suppose if I want to make a satisfaction of one to ten, so some of the people are able to do two satisfaction level three, and someone able to do ten like this. So, if I'm going to consider eight and nine, so it should be worse. Uh, better than right 7 and 9 or 9 and 8 like this so normally uh, we are going to have no mathematical operations so the following are the list of the operations that are going to be allowed in nominal one so that should be ordering and comparison so ordering in the sense we should be able to reflect the natural order being provided by the data so, however, this can be a tricky to figure out sometimes. And the comparisons are another new operation that are going to be allowed at this level. 
So we can uh, talk about how to put 7 on a survey worse than putting a 10. Okay, so for this nominal level, so we have uh, some of the mathematical operations like ordering and comparing. So ordering is nothing but, so it should refer to the natural order provided by us by the data. You know? And comparisons are under kind of new operations at this level, it's referred to compares. And for this uh, measures of center will be uh, median and mode. So median is uh, usually a appropriate way of defining the centers of the data. So, but we can also use the mode like uh, at the nominal level. So example, uh, if I want to find, so example, take it out. So imagine how I conducted a survey. So among your employees asking how happy you are working here on the scales of 1 to 5 <laughs> and results will be here. So some of the employees are able to give 5, 4, 3, 2, 5 like this. How much happy you are like that. And how are you going to calculate the mean mode like this? We can able to see that. So normally, so if the addition or subtraction among the scores does not make the sense, then the mean might won't uh, make sense either. So how can I able to write this by and uh, so import numpy. So results will be this. And sorted the results and print the sorted results. So take down the mean of the results. So mean value can able to get and median also can able to get. So this is the sample code of obtaining this so in Python. Uh, so how can I able to do that means? So import numpy. So the results abstract all the results should be placed in the form of an array here. And sorted results. Then calculate the mean. So by make use of the mean function of the results and calculate the median. So mean of the results. And third one is interval level. So the data at this level should have the meaningful subtraction between the data points. And the mathematical operations allowed should be ordering comparison. So same thing. So along with that, uh, we can able to do another more double operations, addition and subtraction. So the interval level, so the data at the interval levels allows the uh, meaningful subtraction between the points and so the mathematical operations allowed should be ordering comparison along the two notable uh, operations of addition and subtraction also. So measures of center. So at this level we can able to use median and more to describe the data. So however the most accurate description of the center of data would be arithmetic mean uh, that should be commonly referred as the mean here. So the measures of center, so at this level, uh, we can use this uh, mean median to describe the data here. So at this also, we can the most accurate description of the center of data will be arithmetic mean. So normally, simple mean, what we call as that. So let's take an example. Suppose you look at the temperature of the fridge containing a pharmaceutical company's new vaccine. So we can able to measure the temper every uh, temperature every hour with the following degrees uh, in cent for a day. So 31, 32, so on like this. So how can you able to write for this? What is the code for that when you buy that? So import numpy temps all the temperature into here. Write on the code as numpy dot mean of and numpy dot median of temperature. So this is a sample code of python so in order to obtain this. And what are the various measures of variation? So here the measure is going to be described the phenomenon called as measures of variation. And the measure of variation should be looks like ASD what we call as a standard deviation. So it should be a number uh, that attempts to describe how spread out the data is. 
So along with the measures of center, so I am also going to have a measures of variation. You should also uh, almost entirely understand the data set within the two numbers. So the variation or the measures of variation is the number. So that should be able to describe how spread out the data is along the various measure uh, sub center. The variation of variation can be almost entirely uh, described throughout the data with only two numbers. So what is the standard deviation here? So the most common measure, uh, measure of variation of uh, data at the interval level is the standard deviation and the standard deviation can be uh, thought of average of uh, distance of the data point from the mean okay so so normally the standard deviation is the most commonly used measures of variations of data at the interval level and beyond that and it should be of uh, average distance of data point from the mean so the formula for the standard deviation can be broken down into following steps. So first one is the mean of the data and second one should be uh, for each number in the data set you have to subtract from the mean and then square of it and find the average of e each square difference and take the square root of the number in the steps 3 which should be the standard deviation. Okay. So what I am going to, what are the steps you have to be done here is first you have to find out the mean of the data. So once the mean is obtained here, from each number in the data set, you have to subtract it from the mean and then square of it. Okay, so mean and then each number you have to subtract it and you have to make the square of it. Find the average of uh, each square difference and make a square root of that. Our next level is that uh, ratio level. So finally, uh, we'll take a look on this one. What is the ratio level? So after moving through three different levels with the different levels of mathematical operations, so the ratio level also proves to be a strongest of four. So till now, we have seen three different levels. So out of this, so this ratio level should be the strongest of all the uh, remaining three levels what I discussed now. So example, so while coordinate and center are uh, stuck in interval scale and the Kelvin scale of temperature boosts a natural zero. So where the Kelvin uh, is literally mean that absence of heat here. So it is non-orbitary starting zero. Uh, we actually scientifically say that 200 Kelvin is twice as much uh, heat as 100 Kelvin. So this is one of the example of uh, ratio scaling. So what are the measures of center? So here uh, measures center will be the arithmetic mean will be constant as the new type. Along with that, we can able to use a new type of mean that is geometric mean. So this mean generally uh, not used as much as even at the ratio scale level. But what this mentioned, it should be the square root of the product of all the values. So the measures of center should be the geometric mean. So it should be um, much even at the ratio level and it should be the square root of the product of all the values. Okay, so these are the different uh, measures of center of different levels of the pain. So in this one, so what I cover here is what is data. So data will be of observation or it may be in evidences of the social world and data may be plural world. And the nature of the data will be two types like uh, qualitative and quantitative. So the qualitative is nothing but attributes and quantitative means variables. And the nature of data, that means the qualitative is nothing but the characteristics or traits for which the numerical value cannot be assigned or call attributes, example, gender and motivation. And the quantitative uh, data or variables means the characteristics or traits 
uh, which the numerical value can be assigned or called like that is height and weight. So the qualitative data should be just categorized. So example gender means male or female, disease like present or absent, smoke means smoking or not smoking. When it comes to quantity too, so here we are going to exp uh, express as the quantity or number with the magnitude and here we can able to express in terms of units of measurement. So example level of hemoglobin and number of glucoma points, intraocular pressure, weight like that. So these are the different uh, types of data like qualitative and quantitative. So qualitative means nominal, ordinal, quantitative means discrete and continuous. So qualitative means it should be like gender like male, women, men, hair color, blonde, brown, ethnicity. Ordinal means first, second, third, letter grades like A, B, C, anagram, standard, medium, high. And then quantitative means which should also should be of two types like discrete and then continuous. So discrete means number of students in the class, number of workers in the company, number of home runs in baseball. So continuous data means where the data is going to be changed with respect to time. So height of children of one year, height of children after two years, height of children, and square footage of two bedroom and the speed of the cars like that. So these are some of the measurements there for the normal quality to data it should be numeric, nominal and ordinary and quantity should be integral and ratio scale. So nominal scale should be the least precise scale and should also where the item is going to be classified into one of categories and there should not be any particular order to be assigned them. And ordinal, so ordinal is the most precise scale than the nominal one. So where the variables are going to be categorized and level with the natural order, like uh, where the information should be that and interval scale should be more precise and refined scale than the nominal and ordinal one and here the size of interval between the two observations can be measured uh, like the temperature of the body where it can able to measure in for heat also it can able to measure in uh, centigrade and ratio scale uh, is the under kind of uh, property and where you can able to perform uh, uh, operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and so this is the different levels of the data where the data is going to be broken down into different levels, or it can able to come as a reflect into one of the level. So the nominal one it should be the first level of the data, and that describes purely by name or category, uh, like the gender, nationalities, uh, species, like this. So here uh, can able to perform some of mathematical operations and the measures of center will be mean, uh, median and mode. And similarly what kind of data is like normal means it should be in a category in nature. And next one is ordinal one. So ordinal means where the uh, nominal level did not provide even much more flexibility in terms of mathematical operations. So for the ordinal uh, the mathematical operations what I can able, <coughs> what I can able to perform here is ordering and comparison. So ordering refers to natural order provided by to us by the data. However, this can be tricky and figure out some of sometimes. And for each ex for example, for putting uh, seven on the survey, it is worse than putting it. And measures of center should be uh, median and more here. So this is an example I have told. So rating of uh, employees for happiness. So how what is the code for that? So in Python, so import now by results should be pushed into an array. Sort those results and print those results with the numpy package mean and then more. A third one is that interval level. So here the mathematical operations should be same thing, ordering and then uh, comparison. So along with that two more operations I can able to perform on that is data and subtraction. So the measures of center tendency will be arithmetic mean. So what we called a normal mean. So arithmetic mean will be the measures of center. 
So similar fashion what I do, so I took some of the four eight uh, measures on particular company. So for that also I can able to calculate the mean and mode. So measures of variation should be uh, like the standard deviation here. So we have the standard deviation should be considered as the measures of variation. So how we are going to calculate the standard mean deviation? So first we have to calculate the mean of the data. So mean sigma xi. So for that each number in the data is subtract from the mean and find the average square of that and apply the square root so that you can able to obtain the standard deviation of this. And the last one is ratio level. So here we can able to, it should be under kind of uh, level which should be most uh, and the strongest of all the remaining levels. So in ratio scale, we also can able to do that some of the standard deviation operations. So some apart from this arithmetic mean, so we can able to include a new kind of arithmetic mean that is going to be proposed here that should be geometric mean. So normally this measure is not used as much as the ratio scale, but it should be worth mentioning. It should be the square root of all the product of all the values. Okay, so this one uh, should be the uh, various levels of measurement here. So for this measurement, so we have to consider all this. Uh, what are the various measures of different levels of the data and how what should be the best one. So once the data is categorized, so what is the various measurements you have to be considered like so till now what i said should be mean mode uh, median and standard deviation and arithmetic mean and geometry mean. so these are the some of the measurements of the uh, data what we are going to be considered and for the different levels of data. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.